when developing an ASP.NET web application we can easily use the entity framework we just need to mark the project right click select add new item and here we can go through the wizard in data category the wizard to create ADO.NET entity data model just as if we were developing a simple standalone application that used the entity framework. Assuming that we already have a database with tables, we can select the option to get all classes auto-generated for us based on the tables we already have. So we just select the database generate from database option, press next. select the relevant connection next uh, pay attention over here if we select save entity connection setting in web config then um, it would be possible at a later stage to refer the connection string from our ASP.NET web page in a simpler way I shall show that shortly we press next and then we get a detailed list of the tables we select the tables we are interested at and finish the outcome would be a file, a DMX file that if we double click we shall see um, a representation for the, the model that was auto-generated for us, a model we can use in our code. If we check the web.config, then we can find within the connection strings XML element a child element. Its name is the one we set in that wizard and this is its value, the connection string. We can now use the entity framework in our ASP.NET web application.